Now, this is not some ordinary entity like Vishali's. So the corrupted powers will have to make rounds to escape from their shithousery. This actually partnered with the Bihar government to conduct a social audit of more than 100 institutions and responded with an alarming report. Hey everyone, the dark Knight is here. A struggling independent investigative journalist Vishali Singh discovers a dark secret about a shelter home in Manoverpur where dozens of young girls are subjected to prostitution and get abused, tortured, raped and eventually killed. Bhakshak is based on a famous 2018 Muzaffarpur shelter case that came to our cognizance after a social audit report by the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, TIS, revealed a widespread abuse that later became one of India's most significant sex abuse scandals. The investigation led to the arrest of the shelter house owner, Brajesh Thakur, and his staff and several government officials. The film began on a promising note. A murder that sparked attention and built curiosity. From the point of technical filmmaking, Hakshak looks creepy. The film doesn't hold any stereotypical nonsense. And we observe firm growth in editing and dialogues. There are some shots inside the shelter home that can disturb you, but presents a haunting sketch of the dungeon that enslaves the sick children in the name of shelter. And that is one of the major pluses of Akshak. Vaishali and her small-scale team represents Tata Institute of Social Sciences in the film. The word Koshish in her Koshish News is inspired from the Field Action Project with the same name initiated at TIS. Now, TIS is not some ordinary entity like Vaishali's. So, the corrupted powers will have to make rounds to escape from their shithousery. This actually partnered with the Bihar government to conduct a social audit of more than 100 institutions and responded with an alarming report. But in Bhaksha, although the heart of the storytelling is different, but the idea is different. Here, an independent journalist gets a social audit report from an informer and digs into the swarms in the gutter and spreads the news like fire and faces the heat. And in all this, the shelter house owner Bansi Sahu had nothing much to injure Vishali's spirit and qualm. My objection around Pakshak is the basic storytelling and direction. That doesn't do much justice with such a heartbreaking case. The art of filmmaking is missing due to very simple execution. The subject is not that broad or epic to go two hour 15 minute stretch. Hello, it is a very simple minded crime drama. Never heard of this director, Pulki. Maybe he's new to the director chair. To be very honest, this film truly deserved a director like uh, Sudhir Mishra, Anulav Sinha or uh, Hansel Mehta. If one of them had directed this film, I tell you, we would have seen the true craft. Bhumi Padnikar is the soul of the film with another brilliant performance well supported by Sanjay Mishra and Aditya Srivastava. It will be injustice not to mention two of the sequences where Bhumi Badnekar grabbed our utmost attention. One was when she scolds her husband and the other was an almost three and a half minute one shot news bulletin where she speaks her heart out. I must give credit to Bhakshak for giving us an honest portrayal of an investigative journalist. The tension building around speaking to the assumed victims and perpetrators, relying on the piece of information from the unknown, bearing criticism and running off against Israel, Bhakshak successfully portrayed the life of an investigative journalist. I'm Sami Nai. Thank you for watching my video, really appreciate it. If you like my content and really want to watch this kind of shit more, then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon and drop your messages and suggestions in the comment box down there. Take care and always look on the bright side of life.